Hey everybody, it's Ben here and I have an idea for building an electric lawnmower. Uh, last weekend I found a Ryobi 40 volt electric lawnmower that I picked up for 50 bucks and I also found a mobility scooter that I got for $25. And that mobility scooter has these power wheelchair motors. So it's a motor, a right angle gearbox and a wheel. Uh, actually, I already got some uh, Harbor Freight tires that I put on here because the original wheels were uh, very smooth, like for indoor use. Uh, the scooter also, uh, these are 24 volt motors. The scooter had uh, two 12 volt gel batteries and the charger built in for it. And then on the front of that mobility scooter, it had these caster style wheels. And if you can see right here, there's a bolt. So this would actually be a little further forward but that allows for kind of that side to side tilt motion. Um, right now, what I've done is I've just taken the plastic wheels off this lawnmower and I, I've just been moving the parts around, seeing if I could do a mock-up of what would work for this. And what I've got right here right now looks like a pretty good configuration. Uh, in the mobility scooter, these motors were originally horizontal facing forward. But if I wanted to do that, I would have to bring them way out to the side, which would make the mower um, a lot wider. And then the wheels would stick out further than the cut area. So it'd be very hard to mow like right up next to a building, for example. The other thing is this spacing is pretty good because I should have exactly enough room between the two motors for a battery. So I should be able to build a battery tray that just sticks out a little bit like this and have it all fit. One of the other things to think about is um, the deck height adjustment. So on here, we've got a knob and that swings down the front wheel and the back wheel. And this knob here is connected and this goes up to the front. So it's a, it's a parallelogram. So the entire thing goes up and down by moving this knob. That also means what I really need is the electric motors and the front casters and everything else to be connected to the mower only by these four points where the wheels originally were. So that means I need to build some sort of a framework to come up from those points and connect to the drive system and the front casters. So some sort of like a welded up frame of some sort. So that'll be the next thing to figure out. I think it's pretty fun to uh, still have the push mower handle on here uh, because then if the lawnmower is mowing by itself as a remote control, you know, it's like a, a ghost is mowing the lawn. Um, I saw a video of somebody else that they left the handle on there and it was hilarious. It was just kind of a pretty cool thing. Uh, of course, you can hear other people out mowing their lawns right now. Um, so I got to get a move on uh, building this thing. Uh, another thing, if the batteries are here, that really puts the weight over the drive tires. And another thing I would like to do is put a hitch on this. So I was thinking something along those lines, if I did it like this and make the ball uh, up a little higher so it's the highest point, this whole thing could then uh, tow a sweeper behind it or even move around whatever kind of like a small trailer or anything like that that I want. Uh, now I'll still need to add some electronics here, um, primarily the uh, motor drive controller. So I've got it on order, it's not here yet, but I'm going to be using a dual motor controller. I'll have to mount some sort of electronics box here, hook it up to those motors, and then hook it up to a remote control. And in theory, I will then have a remote control electric lawnmower.